my name is Seat. I'm, I'm the head of strategic business for Zoka Asia. Okay, the most surprising trend is the uptake for digital banking. The race between the old banks as well as digital banking. Uh, if you think about it, from a legacy standpoint, banks takes about 80, 90 years to get to where they are. But the digital bank can then tackle the same market uh, that it took 80 years to grow uh, across the old banks, right? So I think if you see the uptake, uh, to me, example, the trust bank growth is reasonably surprising. So now using technology, right, you can shorten that competition between uh, a digital bank versus an older bank, uh, which takes about 80, 90 years to grow. Uh. So I felt that was the, the most amazing trend. I would say that the biggest barrier for a lot of financial services primarily lies with the data security as well as regulatory issue. If I were to snap my fingers, I would say that if there is a wide adoption of a way in which data can flow more seamlessly across the fintech ecosystem with the, a very strong preservation of data security and having all the regulatory requirements sorted out in, and then having them being sorted out in a value chain or value stream map integrated into people's lives uh, and banking services, right? I think that will be the number one thing because every time we have a new services, we are always caught and trapped between the regulatory requirement and data security. So if there's a slim finger to snap it, then there's a way to unleash the full power of banking by having all this sorted out. So if there's a big ask, that will be the first thing I hope that can be solved. If you look at Asia, right, we are one of the fastest economies globally. Example, Vietnam is a double digit growth uh, on the GDP. And there is a large pool of emerging wealth uh, on actually mid-income families uh, in Indonesia and so on, right? And I think the, if I were to look at the general trend, what is most exciting is that how could wealth be able to support this, cater to this growth? I would say it's observation rather than a statement. That you can see the hunger and the passion of all the visitors from around the world looking at the next trend. I think if we are looking at the trends of digital adoption for, for finance and so on, right, it's really exponential. We can say that DLT is now beginning to adopt, but people are really thinking of the next phase. How do you really truly de democratize, example, digital assets and so on. And it's starting to move mainstreams. A lot of times when you, when you visit the festivals, right, you see emerging ideas. Huh? But right now, you see those emerging ideas from the last two years now becoming mainstream. Huh? And I think that the adoption rate huh, for new tech will be getting exponential even faster. What would take four years for adoption probably take less than a year. That's my, that's my take. Huh?